In today's video, I am going to be breaking down Nikolai Jokic and how you can play center just like him. Let's get down, let's check him out really quickly. If you want me to break down your basketball shooting form, make sure to click the link down below where I can break down your shooting form and give you different tips, tricks, workouts, as well as drills so that you can improve your shot. Let's get down, let's check out Nikolai Jokic. So one thing about Nikola Jokic is his patience in that low post. Here what we see is he looks straight basically at the rim, scanning the court to see where his players are, but also where his help side defenders are and where they're looking. From there, he pivots around to create space and he lowers his shoulder, but not farther than his lead foot. From there, he's able to clear out space and he's able to really size up what his defender is about to do. So here, what he does now is he goes up for that shot because he looks like he's about to drive. He rocks that ball back and forth. He gets that defender down low and then all he does is just goes up into a shot and because he has such a high set point, he's able to make that shot without getting blocked. Now the crazy thing about Jokic is his ability to pass. Here he's actually being a point guard, making that pass to a player who can then drive towards the net through the baseline. Now the reason why this is so important is because Jokic is 7 feet tall. He's able to see over top of the defense. And when he sees over top of the defense, he notices that Kevin Love here is of course facing this way. He has a teammate here who can have essentially a back door to the rim. And that's what happens here. This player is also able to see it. He lands on his back foot, which is a zero step to give him the momentum to push towards the rim. And there's nothing Kevin Love can do. Now, when it comes to low post move, moves, Jokic is absolutely amazing. Here, he's able to feel, see that arm on that defender. What we can see now is when he gets that ball, he's already starting to turn towards the basket. Because this defender is overplaying on that right side, this is something you can do. Take that dribble with that right hand, get your, uh, your arm out essentially to essentially lock that defender behind you lower that shoulder into him and then of course you could slam it of course if you're big enough or you can go up with your right hand because of course going up with your right hand is away from your defender which allows you to make that shot. Also because he's coming in from the baseline with the defender on this side it makes it really hard for that defender to block his shot if he's using his body the way he is here. So after you set this screen if you're a center and what we can see here is that that player who's using that screen is looping around the screener. This is what you really want to do as that player getting screened because that will lock that defender on the center which then makes it a forced switch. You now have a faster player being defended by a slower player. If that original defender wants to try and keep up with his original player he was supposed to be defending, then as a center what you can do is just to pop out towards that three point line and then you can receive that pass and of course you can take that three. This is why every center needs to be able to shoot threes. By the way, link down below. And then with a forward to center screen or a four to five screen and roll, what we can see here is that's forcing that defender to come up on Jokic because Jokic is of course a massive dude. He can score around the rim. And then if you've got an athletic forward who can set that screen, you can set up basically alley-oop dunks all game long. Now if you're out on the three-point line you have a defender who is sprinting out to try and stop you from shooting. This is basically beneficial to you. When that happens take that shot fake to basically stretch out that recovering player, attack that recovering player and when you do try to lower your shoulder to get in front of him. At this point in time see what he's doing with his elbow right there. That is very important. You can lock out that player and then you can take your two steps and you can finish right at the rim and because you locked out that player you now have the distance and you can use your body essentially to be able to get that ball to the rim and not be able to get shot your shot blocked. Now this is called the Russian spot. This is actually a very good area on the court for centers because of course if there's any zones you could do high to low post passes or if you are very close to the rim and you see that your defenders are lifting up to stop a player from driving. So for example, if your teammate is driving towards the basket, especially from the corners, what you can do as a center is essentially this. 
When that happens, you sink down towards the baseline, essentially b below or behind the backboard. If this player can get these two defenders or one single defender up into the air, you can essentially get a pass down low and get an easy, easy layup. As a center, we need to be big, we need to be able to shoot now, but being able to know how to pass from the high post like Jokic is very, very beneficial to you as a center. And how you can practice this is very simple. If you can get a partner and just basically get two friends who can basically, one playing defense and the other one not, the other one on offense with you, and they can do different cuts to the basket, you can try to get that ball through that defense Defender for those layups. Anyways, I hope that this video has helped you. If it has, hit that like button, subscribe, and I'll see you guys again next time.